Going with a helicopter in the Faroe Islands is cheaper than going with a taxi, so that's definitely an experience to go for. In this last episode, for now, from the Faroe Islands, I will talk a bit about the practicalities about traveling in the Faroe Islands and talk about how it is to go with a helicopter up there. Going with a helicopter was a huge experience for me since I've never tried that before. We were offered a trip in exchange for a bit of work I did up there, so we got a bit longer ride than most. If you're without a car or just want the experience of going with a helicopter or want to go to one of the islands not connected by bridge or tunnel, it's fairly easy to book a trip through the webpage of Atlantic Airways. The helicopter flies every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday and during summer also Monday, with the most expensive fare of around 55 US dollars. It's fun to see the pharaohs from above and you will get some beautiful pictures. In regard to the lens, I did fine with a 16 to 35 mm. There are tunnels in the Faroe Islands and at two of them you will have to pay a toll of around 15 US dollars for a return trip to pass through them. One of the tunnels connects Vaga and Stremoy, which you need to be aware of since at Vaga the airport is located and at Stremoy the capital Torshavn is located. The other tunnel connects Astroy and Bordoy, which you need to be aware of if you want to go to Klaksvik and take the ferry to Kelsoy. In regard to flying a drone in the Faroe Islands, you have to abide by Danish law. This illustration should be a good beginning to understand the rules. As you might notice, you are not allowed to fly within a 5 km radius of a civil airport. This means you are not allowed to fly your drone around most of Vaga and it puts Trelleniepe well within this radius. When we were at Trelleniepe, we also saw a low flying plane which could easily have hit a drone, so just follow the laws or get a special permit. The main languages are Faroese, Danish and English, and most people in the Faroe Islands speak both Danish and English very well. Most groceries in the Faroe Islands are also fairly expensive since most of the things have to be imported. The Faroe Islands also have a pretty extensive bus network which you can also use if you don't have a car. Remember that these videos in no way reflects the entirety of the Faroes. We barely scratch the surface. The Faroe Islands is an absolutely amazing travel destination and I'd love to go back and explore even more. Exploring these islands often feels you are all alone in the world and you can capture some absolutely stunning photographs. 
The stunning seashore, the mountains and the fjords delivers this rough and simple Nordic atmosphere where you feel you're going back to your roots. I greatly appreciate a like and a comment, and if you're not following me on Instagram or 500 pixels, there's links down below. If you have yet to see the other episodes from my series on the Faroe Islands, just follow the link right here. And remember to subscribe for more videos on landscape photography.